Hello everyone and another International Children's Book Day author of Serenity Press is joining me and this time I've got the amazing wonderful Marianne Rose. How are you going Marianne? Hi I'm well it's good to be here and chatting with everyone and with me I've got the star of the show Hamish McGrath. Oh um, isn't he adorable? In his little bow tie. Oh my goodness. Um, and I've got the treats going for him as, as well so that he uh, he knows knows that he can say hello. <laughs> Guys, if you haven't seen it yet, Marianne Rose is the, the author of Hamish McGruff. And look at him. Isn't he just the, the most amazing character? Look at him. He's gorgeous. He has got his own Instagram account, doesn't he? Yes, so go, he does. go and follow him there. And this story is when, when myself and Marianne, because we're so blessed to be in Perth together we can actually catch up and um, when Marianne and I caught up about the story it was just okay this story has has to be shared so let's make it happen let's find the perfect illustrator and let's um you know get get Hamish's his story out into the world so let's talk about that that Marianne what it was like to, for your words to start coming to life into a book Oh, well, look, I, I think that I'd had this story sort of swirling around for a number of years and, and I'd sort of had the name Hamish McGruff even before I, I got Hamish McGruff. It had just been always yeah. something that I'd always wanted, a little furry dog, and I just thought that Hamish was the perfect name for a little furry dog. And it, it really just came to me that I, I sort of did a little bit of scribbling and writing, trying to think about, well, you know, what is it that kids like? you know and, and what are the fun stories that kids like and you know the little um you know mud and dirt and you know possum poo and things like that that you know kids enjoy sneakily reading about and I thought that it was a great avenue to have a little dog in a little story getting up to a bit of mischief oh what fun what an adventure for for curious kids to go on and and it is brought to life through the amazing cat foxes illustrations yeah. and you had already cat was always already on your radar before me and you connected yeah wasn't she? yeah so cat actually um i'd spoken to her originally and sort of reached out to her saying look i'm looking for an illustrator and she had been kind enough to mention your name as somebody that I should reach out to and get in, in contact. But I'd always loved her illustrations. They were always, you know, fun and frivolous and, you know, really bring a character to life. You know, you know I think a way that kids are going to really enjoy. Really fun. And her brand is, is going over the, you know, it's, it's, it's increasing and so will create increased visibility for, for Hamish as well. So this book is releasing in the next couple of months and we're going to be doing a, a beautiful launch here in Perth in June. But uh, Marianne, what is your um, hopes for this book and, and how it is received by readers? Well, look, originally when I wrote it, I, I did write it um, for myself. I, I kind of didn't really know the process of becoming a children's book author. I didn't really know what to expect. But as I've gone in this journey with, with yourself and the team, you know, it, it's really, you know, been a fantastic journey and one where I really do hope that readers and, and kids get to engage with Hamish and actually learn to love him and embrace him as much as, as I do with the real Hamish here at home. And then I'd like to see it grow. I'd like to, you know, have people engage with me on his Instagram page. I'm always putting up lots of little pictures of him. He, he does go to kindy. So there's lots of photos of him at kindy as well. So um, photogenic. And, <laughs> he, is. He, he is very photogenic. Um, yeah. And then, and then I would like to write um, further stories about Hamish's adventures. And I've already got a few little ideas in the in the pipeline so yeah engagement I suppose is what I'm looking for oh beautiful and for your stories because there's a really important message in 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 this book and can we talk about that can we share a little bit of insight into the lightning thunder jacket yeah. so can you just share about that well look I mean this this story is really around um I suppose my experience not with not not just with animals but with kids that you know sometimes there are things that are scary in the world and you know, we've obviously been through a big, scary year. And if you have the help of friends and the loved ones around you, you can come and find a solution. And Hamish 
um, goes on a little adventure to overcome his fear of thunderstorms. And um, this is a really great in engaging story as to the adventure that he goes on and his friends who help him come up with the solution. Oh, I love it. Kids are just going to love Hamish. They really and truly are. He's just endearing in real life. And for him to be a real life dog, wow, it's just going to be um, just so wonderful. So <laughs> watch out, Hamish. You're already a celebrity. You're going to be even more so now. Um, and Hamish McGruff is one of the books that was picked up by Alia as well this year, which we're so delighted. It's been pitched to um, and recommended to Storytime in Australian libraries um, across Australian is in which we're oh, really fantastic. yeah it's it's so wonderful and and doing well and we'll be so engaged that you know readers are just going to love it as well so we we're really delighted that that happened for Hamish and and his story so it's it's going to be an exciting year and an adventure and it's all that learning curve because whenever we connected I, I loved your story but you were not a, an author as such but now no. you are you are now and we're on this journey I know I'm going to change my mindset <laughs> you're now an author you got to upgrade that mindset you got to own it now and you've got a really awesome book and an awesome story that's going out there and and which is inspiring for other people so have you got any advice for um for other people who are considering oh I have a story that's at the bottom of the jaw or I I've, I've made up a story my kids love it and I'd love to see it in a book one day what kind of advice do you have for those people look I suppose the advice is that you don't know until you get started and and I suppose the the journey that I've been on with yourself has been really informative and educational because I didn't know where to start and I think that you just have to you just have to throw yourself in and appreciate that I mean this story hasn't come to life overnight it's it's taken quite a lot of time to to bring together and there's been a lot of iterations and changes but enjoy the journey and enjoy the process and if you kind of go with the flow of that process then you may well have a story yourself like Hamish McGruff Exactly. And what a legacy to leave in the world, you know, these, these stories. And this is where it starts. You plant the seed and start with one and then it just grows and it finds its way to its readers. So, guys, I highly recommend Hamish McGruff. It is just such an endearing, awesome story with wonderful illustrations, a vision brought, brought to life by the amazing cat fox and a story that was just meant to be. So go to the um, serenitypress.org bookstore where you can pre-order the book um, and and just watch this space watch this space and watch Hamish McGruff get out into the world Marianne thank you so much for joining me today oh thank you so much for having me it's been a real delight wonderful and happy international children's book day yes and to you too bye everyone <laughs>